Brennan has a man open, and it is caught. Wow, what a catch by Bess. Well, June Jones told us that Bess has made some of the most amazing catches he's ever seen. Can they do it now with one of the big wins in recent school history on the line? Callier not only couldn't run it, he fumbled, and Adam Leonard has it at the 45-yard line. Trying to tie it now. They led by 14 early. Brennan keeps it. Touchdown, Hawaii! And Rivers adds to his total with his 12th catch of the night. Eight-yard touchdown. To Frallis toward the end zone, and it is intercepted. Ball game over. Myron Nube seals the dramatic come-from-behind win for Hawaii. And the dreams are all still alive for the Warriors. Improbable comeback for Hawaii. No Hawaii quarterbacks ever attempted more passes, but the overall performance, Jesse, helped or hurt his Heisman. You know, believe it or not, I actually think it helped. When I watched this game early in the game, the interceptions I thought hurt him, but if you could have seen the way he brought his team back on the road and the way he played, especially at the end of this football game, it was unreal. I think, believe it or not, it actually helped. But 10 interceptions on the season, that's a little bit of a troubling number for Colt Brennan in Hawaii. The number that they have to reach in the BCS standings, they have to get in the top 12. They'll automatically be included for a BCS game. They're sitting at 18 right now and substantially back to the teams from the major conferences. And remember, when you see the rankings from this point forward in our coverage here in a weekend game coverage, it will be the BCS standings that we are referring to from this point forward. And USC at 14, they are the lowest they've been since the initial BCS standings of 2002. That was prior to the Trojans' dominant run.